Together with Skytel, buy the new T900 and get a $50 dollar light show only on YouTube. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed. We hit 5,000 subscribers just about the week of Christmas. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. It is a huge accomplishment for me. Very proud of myself and everything that I've done on the channel. And it makes me so happy to know that people are enjoying the content and subscribing to the channel. So you, if you are new and this is the first video you're seeing, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button. Let's work our way towards 6,000 and then 10,000 and then keep on going up from there. But today's video, based on the title, you guys already know, we are installing some hydraulic hood lifts on the NC Miata. So pretty much everyone's NC will come with this little hood prop. It's, you know, it's fine, it works, but since I've been doing so much work on the engine, one thing I noticed is that it was just really annoying to work around that thing. Getting to the fuse box, working on the intake, it just kind of gets in the way. And I have the hydraulic hood lifts on the GTI and it's just really nice to pop open the hood and it just slides right up for you, holds in place. And I've decided that I'm finally gonna do it to the Miata. So as far as I know, there are a couple of options for the hydraulic hood lifts or hood props, whatever you wanna call them. I think Moss makes one, but they make a singular one. And I wanted to be sure that since the hood is so light, I didn't want anything bending. So I picked up these. These are the Roadster Sport from Goodwin Racing. They're hood props. And it's a pretty basic kit. It just comes with the props themselves and then a couple brackets. So we're gonna install it today. Hopefully it's pretty easy. I'm gonna look up a few reference photos and we're gonna dive right in and get to work. So we got our two hydraulic hood props installed. They bolt right onto the fender here and then your other little bracket goes right up here. It's a really nice little kit that Goodwin provides. All the brackets look powder coated or anodized. I can't tell which one exactly, but either way, we should be able to take this off. And look at that, hood stays up. It just looks a little bit cleaner. And I kind of like the way that it, it looks right here. It just makes the car look a little bit more expensive when you open the hood, because it's one of those things where you want those to come with your car for convenience sake. Closing it up. Nice and smooth. Let's open it. It is nice now that the hood actually pops itself up. Mine wasn't popping anymore. And I had to come over and like grab the hood vent to open it. But now, little gap, you can reach in. And slowly, I'm sure after a while, those will work themselves in. Either way, hood is open. So that was just a quick 10 minute modification for the NC or your NC Miata. I like it, I recommend it. Good One Racing is where you can get this one that I have. And I looked it up and I, I think it was IL Motorsport. They had one and there was someone else, I can't remember exactly the name off the top of my head, but. There are multiple options for these. I went with Goodwin because it's where I mostly order my things from. So I like it, it's good, it works. Can't say much else about it. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something and just off the top of my head to mention it, uh, still tuning the 2.5. Just trying to get it perfect, dialing it in, things like that. And uh, it's still running fine and I'm enjoying it. So be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. 
Give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you in the next video.